Welcome back to the rig review. And today I'm gonna to take a look at the Elsa rig. Look at that, it's a beautiful model here, beautiful costume. You can find that on the Anim Props site. I have also uploaded it on my Animation Buffet site where you can find all kinds of reviews and rigs that I upload. And for something I'm gonna mention later, I would also recommend that you check out the Studio Library sites. And why is that? It's because when you look at the README, it talks about a couple of things that the rigger recommends. I do not have this, so I don't have the pickers. So feel free to install Advanced Skeleton to take advantage of the pickers. But I did check out the studio library for the pose library. Also in there, you will find a movie that explains simming because you can have sim for this character, which is super cool. Now, speaking of this character, this is how the character comes in. Actually, this is how I came in. You don't have to do any texture linking. It is right there. That being said, again, you will have to sim this. So what you can do in the layer options here, you can take the gown away and you can take the robe away. And that's how we can see the character in all the controllers. Now you do have options to turn off the legs, pelvis, upper body, head and hair. For the studio library, I actually just copied this folder here, which has all the phonemes and the hairs and motions and an extra animation in there into my own animation library directory, but you can leave it where the rig is if you want. And if you load up studio library, this is what you have. So if I select here, angry pose, I can say apply and you can dial that in and out. That being said, when I open this every now and then I get problems. So you have to make sure that the namespace is on from selection. Um, if I do from file or custom, but sometimes even from selection, I get some errors. So I'm not quite sure. I just opened this fresh and I just opened Studio Library. It just loads into this and then it works. But again, sometimes it doesn't. If anybody has a lot more experience than me with Studio Library, I would love to hear from you. But you have all kinds of facial poses. You have mouth poses. You even have a different hair pose to bring that out. And there's even an animation. So let's go back and check out what is going on here. So first of all, you got your main controller that gives you all of the movements here. You have the visibility for FK, IK, all of that good stuff here. So you can turn that on and off. Let's see if you can scale. Yes, you can. Scale small, all that seems to work. Let's check out, as always, bottom to top. You have the main controller here that moves your leg around. And as always, I'm doing a test here. Yes, it takes the knee with it. And you have a separate pole vector for that. Now, selecting this controller, that gives you the swivel option. You can see, I'm gonna zoom out a bit here. That's the also in the channel control. If you don't wanna use the pole vector, you have a roll back and forth with limits. Roll angle, of course, as you roll, you get your roll angle change there. Rocking left and right with good pivots here, nice. You can take that leg and stretch it. There is an anti-pop option and length for two of them and also fatness. Let's go over both of them here. That is that. Now you do have controllers here separately, so you can rotate here. You can move this around. You cannot scale any geometry through that. You can rotate this here as well. And there is a front one that will do this here, mainly from that, but you can do all kinds of pivots from that tip there. No extra controls in the channel. Of course, this is on both sides. Bit hidden here in my view here, but you can see this. This is your bend knee, so your bend bow that's on the side. Usually that's around the rig, but here it's on the side. And you also have the stiffness. You have a stiffness control there. Quickly change your colors here in the background so you can actually see those controllers. Now going on here, this is your IKFK blend and the visibility. So we can switch this back to here. And now it switches to this control where you have your top and then your knee and then your foot. Now looking at this, I don't see any stretch controls on this here. You can do it like that though, if you wanna stretch your limbs. Let's go back to IK here. Then we have the root control and you have a center between feet option. Now you would think that this is the pelvis just because it's below, but it's not. This is actually for the spine. So you can move this around, you can select these here and you have that in there. Actually this control is for the hips. There's quite some deformation here in the upper body, but you can move this around and you can see stiffness control and fixed orientation control. You can scale, if you select these separately here, you can scale if you want. Now, looking at this here, this gives you the IKFK blend on the spine. So you have this 
where you can still do it like that. Now you can technically take this and also move it around if you want. And if you go into the previous one, then you have these type of controls for your spine. So the switcher is here. Now, double checking again, there miss anything in those controllers. There's nothing else that I saw there. Now I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna go back into studio library boop, and say straight pose, apply. Leaves those controllers here though. So these guys that you see on the back, these are the actual hair controls. So I can also just move this out and of course hide this, but just wanna make sure that you know these are hair controls. If I bring this back, you can also scale this to some degree. So let's go back here and you have the shoulder. So I can move this up like that. I don't see any auto clavicle function on that controller. You can scale a tiny bit you can also translate. Now, if you go one down here, this is now in FK mode. There is a global option and I can go back. And of course you have your elbow and you can also go ah and break it like that. And you also have your wrist here. No other options on those controllers. Now, that being said, I go here and I do IK FK blend. Here is your IK arm with a sticky hand. This is not a follow on the wrist, but if I bring this up, you still have to do this to adjust. I don't see anything else on there. You do have a follow option. So if I move this around and I move my root, you can see how it stays. And if I do follow, you can see how the IK moves, which is also very helpful. I like that option. You have stretchiness, of course. There's an anti-pop. There's a length option for both and a fatness option and a volume option as well. As always with rigs though, I would love an option where if you do this, that the wrist follows the forearm so you don't have to constantly counter. I think that would be pretty sweet. Now, if I select this here, you do have options for finger spreading, cupping, let's get a bit closer here. You have a cup, you have all the curls and you have the thumb curl. There is an immediate fist pose, a relaxed pose, which is nice. There's a magic pose, which is nice, and a gentle pose, also very cool. Now, of course, you can go in there and you can select those controllers separately and then rotate this around. Can you scale? To some degree, just think so. Uh, always good to have those options there. Now, if you look at this here, you can see these extra options here. This is for more shape control, your bend bows. It's over there, one here, and then one here. Again, stiffness on all of these. Now this being arms, of course, you have this on both sides. Now going up here, you have the neck option here. No other options in the channel. And this is not a head squash and stretch. This is actually for the head with a pivot right over there. You have an option to change it like that. There is a scale option if you want. And there's a lower option here to change that and scale if you want to do that. Now I'm gonna look at this a bit later. Let's go in and zoom into this first. You have a jaw control. You can watch out for that tongue there. No other options, but you can scale. You have this one here that moves the whole mouth. Then you have the side controllers that move the corners. Get some really nice deformation right off the bat. Let me just go you, show you from this angle. This one is the upper lip. This one is the lower lip. You can rotate, of course, if you want. And then you have your more detailed controllers like this, and you have your extra controllers for fine detail. And this is obviously for both sides. Now you do have an overall nose, but you also have the side ones for your sneer. And there's one at the bottom here. that does a nice little slight deformation here for a bit more control and uh, flexibility, which is pretty neat. Looking to the side, you have a cheek control here. Let me not forget this one where it's also on the lower cheek end, which is cool. And whoops, on the upper side, you have this for the cheek and lid. And then you have the bigger one here where you can move the whole thing around. Can you scale? Yes, you can, kinda. It does something to it. Going up and following the same pattern, this is your overall eye socket controller. You have then controllers to reshape this. Of course, you have fine control here. Same thing here. This is an overall lid controller here. Now you have close auto shape option. Same thing on the top. Again, you can move this around like that. And then there is fine control here. 
And the same thing goes for your brows. You can move the whole thing around, but of course you have this, and then you have the inner, and then you have an outer. Now here, you can move this in if you want your scowl and everything. You have an eyebrow mid joint, an eyebrow mid joint, you can see here the influence. And then you have a middle one where you can move this around. So I like that for really nice facial control, because has some nice textures. That is that for the eyebrow. Now that being said, you can, you can check out this and we bring these back. And usually there's more to do here in the channel. So if you go one by one here, you can select this little face guy and that gives you an immediate happy, angry, sad surprise fear with the n-swan option here if you want these controllers give you mouth corner controls and you can see here these are the only options there this selects phonemes so if you don't have a studio library you can still go in there and create this for some quick shapes which is always very helpful for quick blocking this one is for your jaw but you can see here that it does the in and out as well as the up and down and you have the upper and lower press on the lips. You can't see this here. Let me go a bit closer. You see the pressing of the lips, it's, but that's when the mouth will be closed. You have squeeze, lower upper, you have the rolls, pucker, jaw forward, and the zip lips, which is always good here. So don't forget that we, on these controllers, you have extra options. So if you check this out, it's again for your nostrils, no other options. And you have your cheek control and he's also the uh, lower part of that eye here. No other options. And of course, this is on both sides. This one gives you eye options through there. And of course, if you check on the right side, now you have quick blink options, a blink center. You also have just upper and lower lids. You have upper lid out. So you have all kinds of options here, including a squint and also iris and pupil. And that is on both sides, of course. Checking this one out, these are your eyebrows, wang, 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 with squeeze, and you can see this here, and the outer up and down, so what I have selected manually there, and this is on both sides. Visibility, joints on, off as well. That is that for the rig. Posing seems pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff very quickly. As I was posing this out, there's one thing I noticed though, if you select this for some reason, the aim visibility is off. And that's the one that controls the eyes if you want to control them like that or separately like this. And if you don't want to use these controllers, so just as an FYI. All right, pose this out here and I use the scale just to see if you scale this up. You can see there's a quite a difference in terms of size. Now, it all seems fairly okay. I think the only thing that I needed to kind of readjust was the hip section. It was different. They got fairly wide here. Like there needs to be some countering of this to bring in those shapes a little bit. There was a fairly big gap there. So watch out as you pose this out. This could be potentially an issue. You can pose things out fairly quickly. You have quick control over things. So overall, I think this is a very, very cool rig. But again, I reopened this and as I wanted to apply something, it gives me uh, certain specific errors. Like right now I clicked on this, it gave me an error. I literally just pulled this back in, hit apply and it worked. So if anybody has any ideas about Studio Library, why this would happen, I'm not quite sure. But again, I'm not saying this rig doesn't work with it. It just for me, there are some weird things where I click on it, open it doesn't work. Then I do something go back and then it works. So I don't know, slightly confused about that. But again, it's a really nice model. It seems to be very, very similar to the original. So this is really cool for practice runs. If you wanna animate this or singing, all kinds of things to see how much, how far, not how much, but how far uh, you can get to the original animation from the movies. That is that from me. As always, all of this will be on here, the rig review and the rig. And if you have any rigs you want me to post or want me to review, feel free to send me an email. I got all kinds of rigs on here. So I'm gonna post these on a regular basis. And if you don't wanna miss any of my reviews or other uploads on my channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button. So do that. Oh, you don't miss any uploads. <laughs> That's it. Thank you.